Christmas now behind us. Attention already turning to New Year's Eve in Times Square. The big celebration happening amid heightened tensions across the city and the country from the ongoing war in the Middle East. News 4's Chris Jose shows us how the NYPD is preparing to keep everyone safe. Attention is already turned to New Year's Eve and celebrations across the country to ring in 2024. The timing comes during a period of war in Gaza and heightened tensions across the country here as law enforcement is urging caution, where many eyes will be turned on Sunday night in Times Square, Manhattan. Over the Christmas weekend, a chaotic protest over the war in Gaza right here in Manhattan. Mayor Adams has seen enough. I just don't believe you could run a city this complex where people can just, you know, just do whatever they want. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators clashed with police, leading to six arrests. The mayor is saying he supports peaceful protests while pointing the finger at what he calls agitators coming in from around the country. You're seeing a small pocket of people who are now becoming part of the protest who are really trying to rile up the crowd, and we cannot tolerate that and we can't accept it. The NYPD now turning its attention to New Year's Eve. You have to be ready for those unpredictable circumstances. A bulletin by the Department of Homeland Security and FBI to law enforcement across the country telling them to be on the lookout for so-called lone wolf attacks. Like the one near Times Square on New Year's Eve last year, police arresting Trevor Bickford for attacking three cops with a machete, saying he was motivated by Islamic extremism. Monitoring the chat out there so we could be we could be prepared. The city asking not just law enforcement, but the public to be on the lookout for anything suspicious. It's a real Herculean task to manage that number of people uh, without being heavy handed but being protective. NYPD already preparing for tight security. Worth noting, there are no credible threats. In Times Square, Chris Jose, News 4 New York.